Right, like I said, a very lucky man right now. You've had a look around. We're staying at that Marriott Hotel, which is perfect. It's right on Praia del Rey, and I believe it's five minutes away from Westcliff's first tee, but don't get there till tomorrow morning. The sun has come out, and it's another episode of the Man vs Golf Hole Challenge. I'm at Praia del Rey. I'm on their 15th hole. I'm playing their back nine first uh, today, so I've chosen 15. And I've chosen for a number of reasons. Look at this drone footage that I fly over for you now. You'll see how nice I love playing golf by the sea but especially when there's a blue sky and it's not too windy to be honest with you this is about 380 yards it's a par 4 it's stroke index 3 and it's one of them holes where I always say I'm not too bothered how I play it yet I want to play that hole well but when you study and you're looking out on that kind of view I love these kind of places it's absolutely stunning now with any well designed golf hole there's always the only option is to go down the middle because there's trouble down the left you've seen from the drone footage and there's two big bunkers on the right hand side so i'm going to be playing a slight cut off that sea is the idea I pretty much called that one, came in off the left, I didn't quite get it perfect, but it's sitting now, you might have even picked that one up into the blue skies, it's sitting right on the brow, and we're going to have a good view down to this green, so a decent start. I don't know whether to play this shot or just stay looking at that view all day, because uh, like I said from the tee box, it's pretty stunning this, I've got 166, it's downhill, slightly downwind, and another 10-15 yards, and it's a different hole altogether, it rolls right the way down into a bit of a dip, but I have a feeling this mightn't be the prevailing wind. There's a little pot bunker that's left to the flag. I've got the yardage bang on. It's pin eye, but it was always down left. There was no cut on that at all. And it stayed up. I can see it from here. It's just, I thought it was going to roll back into the bunker, but it stayed up there. Four and a decent start to the challenge really uh, happy with the chip more than anything because uh, as you well know it's a weakness in my game and I've uh, been practicing a little bit and uh, I was happy with the way I played that one and if I'm honest with you the greens are so quick here I thought that would have actually got a little bit quicker but anyway tidied up made the four that's a good start that's one up for the average golfer I'm not too sure why I want to make these challenges so difficult but I've come back to a hole that I've previously played but I played it from right down the bottom there for forward tee because I didn't realise this existed and I've whizzed back round again uh, onto this back nine I'm going to play two holes to finish off this challenge it's a par four it's a big dog leg from right to left and it's all about this tee shot I think uh, I'm going with three wood I don't know the yardage, I don't know the stroke index, I just know I love this golf hole and although it's gone a bit overcast, it's a little bit late I'm the only one out on the golf course, I've got to take this one on I spoke. It wasn't the best of tee shots, it was a little bit tentative and it was never going to go left. I was conscious of the fact that the hotels on that side didn't want to put one through my bedroom window. So it's leaked out a bit, but the main thing is I think we're on the fairway at least, but I think that's going to leave a pretty long second shot. I was a little bit worried there, so when I got the scorecard, and it turns out this is a par 5, because I seen the way back, I've got 230 into this flag. And it wasn't the best of tee shots, but it's actually really, it's a, it's a short but very tight par 5 and it's stroke index 11, so no shots. I'm going to go four iron pretty much right at the flag, or slightly left of the flag, and I hope that a pull up short gives me a bit of a chip up and uh, hopefully uh, chip up and down birdie, straight forward.
that's pretty much exactly what I wanted to be it has come up short played the right yardage it's left of the bunker that did everything I said it would do uh, now all I need is that flick of a wedge rolling a birdie and uh, that'd be two up now here's one for you. you've seen it on the what's in the bag or you might have seen it anyway if you if you watch a lot of my videos very recently posted it's this Cleveland 56 CBX wedge and this is the type of shot I love it from I'm not too sure I should have said that just before I'm about to play this shot though recipe for disaster be confident oh Joe it does incredibly well it grips so well and I know that came down fairly soft landing but these greens have been so firm and quick I thought that was absolutely perfect and don't get me wrong I'll take it but it just literally dropped and stopped if it had released forward then uh, it might have been a gimme but they're still working that these moody skies are more like the sort of East Lothian coastline what I'm looking at at the minute this evening Ah, do you know what, I had a good line there as well, just uh, didn't hit it, just a little bit scared, you know what it is when the greens start to quicken up and they really are quick compared to what I've been playing of late and uh, just left that one short, so that's a half, I'm still one up but one to play. It is so still, I keep talking about the conditions but I'm absolutely loving this, I'm going to tee. Don't think I'll say you've seen, I'm, let's put some drone footage up so you can see the hole first of all and you'll know I filmed this a bit earlier and the sun was shining. It's the final hole of the Man vs Golf Hole Challenge at Praia del Rey, my first, the first challenge from this little Portugal trip and I want to get off to a winning start. It's a par 4 and it's a short par 4, there's no shots, it is drivable, it's certainly you can get well and truly up there. You class it as probably an easier hole, if you get this tee shot away there's every chance you can get up and close in two. I certainly would have made it in terms of distance but I've pulled it down the left again no cut it's something I'm failing to do at the minute I'm hitting balls uh, straight which is uh, no good uh, but stay down that left hand side it's going to need a wedge back up into the upslope of that green and that easy up and down I just predicted has, uh, has gone out the window right let's see if this CBX 40 quitter can work his magic for me it's uh, I, I'm really loving this club like I said um, so yeah, I just avoided a bunker to my right. It got quite lucky, really. Uh, I've probably got about 40 yards. Camera is at the back of, the, of, uh, of this shot, of the green. I'm wondering whether I pressed record or not, but I think I did. Now, I don't know, I'm really pleased again with the way I picked that up. I don't know whether it's carried enough to not hit the down slope, but uh, we'll go over the hill and find out. You probably know already anyway if that camera's been uh, press record properly. I'm not totally convinced I had press record and I've just come back there and I'm still not convinced. I've got to find some time just to flick through that, but I really hope it has. I'm assuming I just landed on the down slope and it's, uh, it's kicked down towards the hole. Either way, it's a chance for birdie and this would be a great three. it give me the win, but I've got two for it to be fair. Trusted the alignments on the putter, trusted my read and uh, it's a decent positive strike for a change and let's hope 
I can do a bit more of that with this uh, putter, build a bit of confidence because that's been, like I said, the short game has been lacking. But in all fairness, in this man versus golf hole challenge, it's been uh, my saving grace and the CBX wedge has a nice cedar putter hole one there as well. Really enjoyed that hole. I've enjoyed Prayer del Rey. Um, I'll tell you what, I'll do a bit of a summary on Prayer del Rey. We'll, um, I'll stop this recording, I'll go and park up and I'll tell you what I think about it overall. Yeah.